boy does time fly. We're already heading into week four of the regular season and through three weeks, the Ohio Bobcats are pitching a perfect game, 3-0 and and 29th in the nation in the latest AP poll. Next on the plate for the Cats is FCS opponent Norfolk State. The Spartans coming from Virginia will take the bus ride up to Athens and invade Peden Stadium on Saturday in hopes of shocking the college football world. Norfolk State so far this season is 2-1, and one, having dropped their latest contest to Howard in overtime. Leading the charge is quarterback Nico Flores. Flores threw for 387 yards and four touchdowns in the loss to Howard last week. And much like the Cats, Norfolk State also has a feature back in running back Brendan Riddick, averaging over 6.5 yards a carry through three games this year. And he scored five touchdowns, so no slouches in the backfield for Norfolk State. However, the Spartans will be going up against the top rush defense in the MAC. We've seen the front seven for Ohio shut down opposing backfields week in and week out. Just 74 rush yards per game allowed so far by the Bobcats. Offensively, Coach Solich admitted that both Tyler Tettleton and his running back Bo Blankenship were banged up during the Marshall game. He's trying to spell them in practice this week. So the key for the Cats, give some of those younger running backs some carries on Saturday. You know the names, Daz Patterson, Kyle Hammonds. These guys have certainly showed that they are capable of putting together big games and big runs. I think they'll be called upon this Saturday to do that against the Spartans. A couple statistical tidbits to appetize you before the game on Saturday. Tyler Tettleton just 55 yards shy of becoming the fifth Bobcat in history to collect 5,000 yards of total offense, and he also needs just four touchdown passes to become the school's all-time leader in career TD passes. So this could be an historic weekend for number four. And lastly, a win for Ohio would give the Cats their first 4-0 start since 1976. So Ohio is certainly on the verge of making history. We'll find out if they can etch their name in the history books this Saturday at 2 as they take on Norfolk State right here at Peden Stadium.